is general reading, this may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Can you guys see? I hope. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor in reverse. This is a fixed sign Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries or have Aries in your birth chart. This is a control thing, okay? Someone around you could be a cheater. This could be a married man who is having an extra battle affair. Could be, okay? Doesn't have to be. This is a control thing. This is someone who wants to control every outcome, okay? This person wants to control everything and everyone, but they are not in the correct state of mind to make any calls or to call any shots, okay? This is just a control freak. So there's a difference between the emperor upright and emperor in reverse. When the emperor is upright, he's a thought okay? He leads people. But when he's in the reverse like this, he is a tyrant, okay? He's, he is completely out of his mind and he just doesn't know where he's going. Okay, let's start with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo or a Sagittarius. This is things going your way. This is luck in your side. This is uh, the wheel of fortune. So everything that you're doing, there's good luck. Things are rolling the way you want it to. Things are actually happening just as you planned. However, we have you, okay? Either this is, <coughs> excuse me, maybe you're either you're dealing with another air sign just like yourself, or this could be you who is not talking, okay? This is someone who's not communicating. Even if they are, they're playing mind games. This is someone very, very manipulated. This could be a liar. This could be a cheater. This could be someone who can manipulate and who doesn't really give a shit to what other people's feelings are, okay? They will just get what they want and leave. Even if they're not leaving, they just play a lot of mind games. The next card we have is the chariot, okay? You could be dealing with a fixed sign cancer. This is in reverse, so this is things not moving forward. Even if they were, you would have you could have felt at a certain point that you had to push things forward or you had to force this thing ahead, okay? If not, you probably had to back up your truck and find another um, way, you know? So this is either what you're doing, it's not working, okay? It's definitely not working. Either you feel you'll have to push it forcibly or it's just not working, you're stuck, you're stagnant, okay? This could be cancellation of travel plans also. Maybe someone was coming to visit you and their plans cancelled. Or you could be trying to go and visit someone and things are not working out. They're just delayed. You have the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is Water Energy Pisces Cancer Scorpio. You could be dealing with a water sign. This is someone who is not happy at all. They're emotionally unhappy. There could have been a wish that has not been fulfilled, okay? This, this could be you, this could be them who feels that things did not work out the way. So, um, this is just emotional discontentment, okay? Not happy with oneself. This is someone who is not happy on their own, okay? Like how there are some people, you, know, you hold the line, I am enough. This is someone who thinks they are not enough. They need someone. This could be a codependent energy to a certain extent. Like this person could be very, very codependent on alcohol, okay? This person could be overindulging into alcohol. We have the five of wands. This is fire and the Aries and the Sagittarius. This is a lot of fighting, competition, conflicts, a lot of people between you and the person you're dealing with, a lot of interference. Everyone has their own opinion and you just don't know what to do, okay? So this is a lot of fighting and a lot of bickering, nagging, whatever have you. This, this is basically a lot of issues. Okay? A lot of people between you or this is just you and the person you're dealing with, a lot of fights between you both, like a lot of issues before you guys get together. However, guess what's coming up? We have the two of cups. So yes, you, someone loves you, you love them, okay? This is a soulmate connection. This is someone who is meant for you, okay? This is the connection that people really die for. Okay? A lot of people, I mean, I think most people want this card. It's a very, very loving card. This is deep love, okay? This is a lot of love and emotions, okay? But I don't know why... Um, we still have this. Anyways, we'll figure it out. So this is love, okay? This is two people coming into union, two lovers coming into union, okay? This is two people who love each other very, very much, okay? This is this is actually a lot of emotions and love. Guess who's coming back? We have someone from your past coming back. If this is not someone from your past coming back, if this is not a soulmate that's coming back, then this is you who 
is going down the memory lane, you're missing the person, okay? You're missing this person, okay? Who you love very, very much. Either this is someone who's missing you a lot or you're missing someone, or this is someone coming back from your past. This could be an ex, all right? There could be a, a very significant age difference between you both or something very significant and different between you. It could be a different religion, age, whatever. And guess what? This person is going to offer you the higher friend. You could be dealing with a fixed sign Taurus. We have the higher friend here, and this is the card of commitment. If this is not a um, commitment, this is your relationship moving on to. This is this relationship moving on to a higher level of commitment, and more than higher than this, I think the next thing is marriage. So yes, there is marriage on the cards. This person is going to offer you commitment, or then you want to marry this person, or they want to marry you, or you're going to offer this person. A Okay, whoever you're dealing with, I don't know because see, we have two different people here. We have the emperor in reverse as the overall energy. Okay, so this is someone who's lacking control and who's trying to gain control. Okay, but then they've gone very, very deep with controlling someone, so now they've become a control freak. Okay, they can't wait. This is impatient, someone are completely impatient. At the same time, we have the knight of swords in reverse. This is very, very manipulative. Okay, this is someone who's lying and cheating. This is plain manipulation. This is someone who's just who, who lies and gets their things done, okay? This is someone who's lacking structure, all right? They don't have a structure and they could just be, and this could also be someone that's saying that who's actually when they're upright, they use their head, their logic. They're really driven by reasoning and logic. But when they're in the reverse, this is someone who is using their head, which is not really their forte, okay? So when they're using their forte, they're not balanced at all. Not at all, okay? When a logical person tries and uses their heart, they, 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 they take things very, very personally. They're, you know, completely, I don't know, driven by their heart and which is not really them. So that's when they can start making very, very um, vague decisions, okay? Something that is not them. So if I see your reading, what I see is that things were moving on, things were fine, luck was on your side. All of a sudden, we see that the scheme of souls who have been very manipulative, they're just shut down or they're just taking things too personally or they're just being very, very manipulative around you. That's why things completely stopped, okay? Your car was moving, your chariot was moving ahead and the, the chariot is stopped, okay? It's stuck. You need to back up or you need to find another way, okay? That's why there is no emotional contentment, okay? Someone wish, it was someone's wish. That things go their way, but it was not fulfilled. However, there was a lot of clashes. Probably someone really did stand out for this relationship. Maybe there was a lot of people between this relationship. Someone did stand out for this relationship. Finally, after the fight, after the conflict, we have the two of cups. This is a union, okay? This is two people coming together. And most probably, this is someone from your uh, someone from your past who's coming back, okay? They realize what they've missed. They realize that they shouldn't have been emotionally manipulative. They realize that they should, that they should have been... Um, more um, could be loyal could be more truthful to you or they should have communicated things to you uh and uh they're coming back to you and they're coming back to you with a commitment okay they want to get married to you they love you very very much all right libra thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe leave your comments below i'd love to hear them and i'll see you next time bye